This one, you remember the story of the Escalade? We had rented an Escalade for the women's conference, and Drenda and I had never driven an Escalade before. And, you know, it's pretty easy to guess. We kind of liked it. You know, it drives great. And we'd given cars away before, but we'd never said, you know, well, there's a lot of stories I could tell you, but I don't have time. But we said this time, you know, we like this. We'd like to have an Escalade. The, uh, we like the white, pearl white. We like the short, ver- we, yeah, we came into agreement. We're going to get one of these. Going out to pick up my paper, cell phone rings. This is probably a month later. A guy on the phone says, hey, I want to buy you an Escalade. Why an Escalade? Are you trying to, <laughs> what color do you want? So we had that one. I've told that story many times. We have that one. But this is the part that really, did you see that? We drove it for about a year, and the engine light came on. And so I took it to a dealer, and he said, oh, there's some oil. There's a little bit of, it says, no big deal. GMCs do that sometime. There's a couple other minor issues. But no big deal. The car was absolutely perfect. So I was talking to the guy that had given me the Escalade. How's that, how's that Escalade running for you? I said, it's perfect. I love it. I said, the engine light came on, and dealership checked it out. Just a little bit of, the sensor's picking up just a little bit of oil. No big deal. They said, nothing to even be concerned about. It'll last as long as I want. He said, tell you what, he knew I had a house in Florida. You drive that one to Florida, I'll buy you, I'll buy you another one. I said, what'd you say? <laughs> I have two identical pearl white Escalades. Now that caught my attention. That caught my attention. It's like, really? I didn't buy one of those guns. I didn't buy one of those Escalades. It's like, what's going on here? Now this year was the granddaddy. I'm looking for bigger granddaddies, God, so I'm not stopping here. You can, give, you can keep showing me stuff. Let's keep learning. But this year was one of the most amazing stories. And I'm laying a foundation of the double portion and what it looks like. But Understand this, the double portion does not necessarily mean two of something. It means more than enough. It's just that God was trying to get my attention so I could learn how this worked. My wife loves the ocean. She has wanted a beach house while she was in the womb. (laughs) This is a true story. And so she has always had a heart's desire for a home at the ocean. And so through the years, you know, where is that going to happen? We, you know, the money and timing and all of our money was tied up in ministry events, different things. But we were always watching in Florida to see, you know, learning Florida, where's the best spot. And so we finally came into agreement about two years ago, this is where we'd like to live. Now, that's an important part of the puzzle, right? That's it. I mean, this is, you know, it's part of, that's part of that's it equation. But, you know... We never felt to pull the trigger. So I was riding my bike in the basement. I have a bicycle stand down there. I was riding it, and the Lord spoke to me very strongly. He said, send Drenda to Florida tomorrow and have her buy her house this week. I said, really? Okay. So we called a friend that lives down there. Can you drive Drenda around? She looked at about 25 or so houses. She found one she really loved. So I went down. We had a contract on it. Awesome. So after the contract is in place, we're sitting in the living room here in Ohio, and all of a sudden she screams out, that's my house. I said, I know, Dorinda, I know. We went down, remember? The Lord said to go down. I know, that's your, it's in contract. Relax. It is your house. Legally, it's already, it's in pro. It's your house. No, that's my house. I, I know it's your house. You don't understand, she said. Two years ago, as I was looking at this city, I saw a real estate magazine. This house was for sale in the magazine, and I put my finger on it and said, God, I want that house. But it was a little bit higher than I wanted to spend, and so at the time, you know, it just wasn't really feasible, and so I didn't think much about it. But that's the same house we're in contract on. I said, really? I did some research. I went back. Yes, indeed, the house was listed two years ago, but for some reason, the man took it off the market and put it back on the market, thus the urgency of the Holy Spirit saying, send her there this week. And she has that house. (laughs) Pretty amazing. Now, while this was going on, Drenda's parents have owned a house in Canada for 32 years. We've been there many times. The ocean's 30 feet from the back deck. It's an amazing place. But they're, they're not wanting to take care of it anymore. And they, during the, while we were in contract, they said, 
you know, we, we want to sell this. In fact, it's been listed, but, you know, no one's bought it yet. We, we, we'd like to keep it in the family. Would you like to buy it? So we did. So as we closed on both those properties, I had this thought. Wait a minute, Dorinda. That is the double portion. How did that happen? I said, Dorinda, think about it. You wanted a beach house all your life. Now you have a summer beach house because it's hot in Florida. Canada, it's cool. And you have a winter beach house because it's warm in Florida and cold in Canada. I said, Dorinda, how does this stuff happen? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? I, we're not that good. It's like, this is, this is really the double portion. But as I was writing the chapter about the shotguns, this, I was writing the last sentence of the chapter when I talked about the two shotguns showing up. I was writing the last. <laughs> Amy, my secretary, knocks on the church door. I was just finishing up a chapter. Pastor, a box came for you today. It's a true story. I opened it up, and there were two more shotguns. <laughs> it's like God put the amen, the amen on the book. He's like putting the amen on it. Now, I am telling you, you know, I'm making myself vulnerable. I'm telling you these stories because people misjudge. They don't understand. They think I take all your tithe money and bought that house, you know, all that stuff. But that's not true. We have businesses. We take no money from our television broadcast, resources for you watching. We don't do that. I have businesses. You know, uh, we bought, I have, I have two planes. I mean, I, I look at my life and say, everything's in twos. <laughs> it's like, you've been trying to tell me this for a long time. It's like the double portion. But we bought those planes in our own, our own name, our own business, not church money, not ministry money. But the point I'm making is I'm laying a foundation of what the double portion looks like. But you got to learn how to tap into it. Now, we, okay, we see the effect. We're all, okay, right, we see the effect. I don't have that, but we got to learn how do we tap into that double portion. How do these things happen? So I'm telling you, that's, this is life-changing. The key, Hebrews chapter 4, there now remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. A Sabbath rest. Freedom. All of those shadows aimed at this point. The realities in Christ. You're in Christ. You have access to all of that. But you have been trained in the earth curse system, which is limiting you, which is causing you to think wrong. Anticipate wrong, you've got to change your thinking, and you've got to learn how the kingdom operates. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing, and thanks for watching.